Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bridstar. I hope you guys are doing well. For today's video, I'm going to be creating this wedding guest makeup look. It's a very Indian and traditional makeup look which you can easily achieve at home. And to do this, I'm going to be using sugar cosmetic products only. So if you are interested, please keep watching. To prep my skin today, I'm using a priming moisturizer and this is very hydrating. It almost feels like you're putting water on your face and it instantly gives a very healthy hydrating effect to the skin. And this is a very important step before makeup. So do not skip it. Next for primer, I'm using this pore minimizing primer which will help with my open pores. It has a silicone finish so it gives a very smooth and blurry effect uh, to the skin. I'm skipping the foundation today instead I'm using a BB cream and this oh my god uh, is the first time I'm using it and I'm really impressed with the product. It uh, has a very smooth full coverage effect and does not look cakey at all and the shade also matched very well to my skin tone so I was really happy with the end result and it really took me very less time to blend it out. It was very smooth as you can see. Um, I, I could blend it in under 30 seconds almost. Next I'm going in with this concealer which is very close to my skin tone and I'm using it under my eyes uh, to cover my dark circles and also around my mouth to cover the darkness there and also on any spots that I might have on the face. This concealer has very good coverage as well and you can see it hides my spots very easily and also blends in very quickly. I'm taking a lighter shade concealer next. This has more yellow tone to it and I'm using it to highlight the high points of my face that is under my eyes, on my chin, my nose and also on my forehead. Next, I'm blending it in with the help of a brush. Uh, you need to make sure that the concealer stays only on the places that you want to highlight and doesn't move around much. The brush I'm using here is also from Sugar. This is actually for blush but it also works well with concealers. After blending the face, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm using the same concealer on my eyelids and I'm blending it in to create a smooth base for the eyeshadow. For my eyebrows today, I'm going to be using this micro brow pencil from Sugar. This one is in the shade Taupe Tom. Now this has a very natural grey colour to it and since the tip is a micro tip, uh, it's very easy to line your eyebrows and also fill them in with this. You can create natural strokes of hair so I'm creating that on the inner uh, half of my eyebrows and then I'm lining my arch and filling the middle part in uh, with the help of the tip. Next I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. This is the Too Good To Be True Dual Eyeshadow which is in the shade Chamomile and Lavender. So it has a mauveish purplish shade on one side and then a rose gold shade on the other side. So with the mauve shade I'm going to be using that all over my lid and I'm going to be blending it in with my finger. This shade is buildable so I'm going in with it a second time and I'm blending it to make it a little darker. Next with the help of a concealer and a flat brush I'm creating a cut crease. So I am basically creating a semicircle shape and then filling it in. This step is not mandatory. You can go in with the next uh, shadow directly but I just wanted a little more pop of it. So that's why I created the cut crease first. And on top of the cut crease, I am now going in with the shimmer shades and you can see it's more visible now and basically just filling the shape that I created previously. I went in with the mauve shade again but just on the outer corners and I blended it in with the shimmer shade with my fingers. For this look today I wanted a nicely smoked out cold eyes look so that's why I went in with a gel liner. So with this gel liner I went in and lined my eyes very thinly following the natural shape of my eyes and then with the help of a brush I smudged out this liner and created a smoky look. Also, I'm going to be smudging out the edge of it to create that false eyeliner effect. To make the wing look a little more sharp, I'm going in with a concealer and a brush and I'm cleaning under it a little bit. Next, I'm using the same gel eyeliner on my lower lash line to line my eyes and I'm creating a very dark budget look here. And with the help of a brush next, I'm going to smudge it out as well uh, to give it that smoky look. Next, I'm using this volumizing mascara on both my upper and lower lashes. But I also went in with false eyelashes, which I wore off camera. Moving on to contouring, I'm using this Vivid Victory palette. This has all three shades, contouring, blush and highlight in it. So first to contour my face, I'm using the brown shade and I'm putting it on the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, under my jaw, 
uh, on my forehead and also on my nose a little bit the blush today i'm using the one that comes in the palette it's a dark pink color very festive looking and i'm using it on the cheeks to create a healthy looking flush i'm using the highlighter that comes with the palette as well and i'm putting it on all the high points of my face like my cheekbones my nose my cupid's brow my chin my uh, forehead etc taking the same highlighter on a very small brush i am putting it on my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes this is one step i never miss this really really makes your eyes look brighter and so this is mandatory for me now that i have changed into my wedding guest attire it's time for some lipsticks and for that i'm using this shade baby houseman from the sugar mat as hell crayon lipstick this is one of my favorite shades it's a beautiful pink wine lipstick and it really complemented the look well and last but not the least i'm using the grand finale dewy setting mist to spray all over my face and set everything in place i also added some jewelry a small bindi and a gajra to this attire and this is my final look Thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video till then take care bye